In this video, we're going to set up your on-premises endpoints with cloud capabilities using CSV files. First, we need to sign into WebEx Device Connector using our Control Hub Administrator account. Verify if you need an HTTP proxy in order to connect to the WebEx Cloud Network. Once in, you can select the second option to link on-premises devices to the cloud. You can see we have two methods to link devices here. In this video, we're going to cover the CSV method. If you click see how to prepare your file, it will show you how to format your CSV file. It will also show you that you can export a system overview report from Cisco TMS. And in this report, you can just manually add a username and password column for each endpoint. So I'm going to open Notepad and just show an example of how to manually create this CSV file. Your first line is going to be address, comma, username, comma, password. And then each subsequent line will have the FQDN of the endpoint, comma, the username, comma, the password. And I'm just gonna have one test endpoint in this file, but you would have as many lines as you have endpoints that you want to add. So now back in the WebEx device connector, we're going to click the second option, link devices using CSV or Cisco TMS overview export files. And then I'm going to browse for and upload the file that I just created. Here you can see I'm failing certificate validation. To fix this, you can upload the endpoint certificates to the directory listed on the screen. Alternatively, you can proceed without validating the endpoint certificates. Now the WebEx device connector is going to connect to all the endpoints in the CSV file. Once it's connected, you can click the link button in the right column. If the link process fails here, like mine just did, check that your endpoint is able to contact the WebEx cloud network. It could be a network connectivity issue. You can also log into the web interface of the endpoint and check that you're running CE 9.12.3 or higher. Here I'm running 9.13.1, so that should be good. The reason this endpoint is failing to connect is because it requires a proxy to connect to the WebEx cloud network. To set up the proxy, go to Setup, Configuration. In the search bar at the top, I'm going to type Proxy, and I'm looking for the Network Services HTTP Proxy section. Here I'm going to put the details of my proxy and save the configuration. Now when I go back to the WebEx device connector and click Retry, you can see that the device was successfully linked. And if we go back to the system information page of the endpoint now, we can see that we're registered to WebEx right below our SIP registration. And finally, if we go to Cisco WebEx Control Hub under Devices, we can see that our endpoint is online. That's all there is to connecting an on-premise endpoint to Control Hub using a CSV file. I hope this video helps, and thank you for watching.